today is September Monday, September 14th, and the time is now 4.32. So, um, I usually do not even wake up until 5 o'clock, but I am up, I'm showered, I'm fresh. I feel refreshed, but surprisingly, I only got two hours of sleep. Um, so, long story short, I was supposed to take my first practice exam yesterday. Yesterday was grandparents day, so my sister picked me up and we drove down to see my grandmother and my mom and we spent the day with them and she told me she was like i'll get you back home at a reasonable time so that you can take your practice exam da, 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 da. great cool okay i get home i'm like all right you know sit down i'm gonna talk to ty for a little and then i'm gonna take my practice exam and i get in the house and the plans just completely changed because he proposed yesterday. So. Here is the beautiful ring that he got me. It is just so gorgeous and I, I love it so much. So that completely changed my plans for my first practice test. And I didn't get any sleep last night. I wasn't gonna plan on taking it until after work today but since I am up and I cannot sleep because of the excitement I'm gonna take it this morning I'm actually waiting for Starbucks to open so it's 4 34 they don't open until 5 so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna probably review like read over some notes a little bit until about maybe 4 50 place my order and then go pick up my Starbucks come back home and test I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to set up everything so that when I get back I can just start on it because I do have to work at 8 usually when I take my practice exams it doesn't take me the complete four hours as it does the regular exam so I'm hoping that it only takes me three hours i remember one i think one far practice test it only took me two and a half hours to take so <laughs> i'm hoping that this is the case if it's not then i'll just work a little later today if i'm not done by 8 a.m because that's what time i have to clock in but yeah i'm still in shock right now um <laughs> I had a hard time falling asleep last night. I watched TV and I ended up falling asleep, I guess around maybe 11, 12-ish. I woke back up at two because baby K was sitting on my bladder. So I went to go use the bathroom and I've been up ever since and she's actually been up with me. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit and wait for Starbucks to open and I will see you guys after I take my exam. Toodles. So I am back from taking my test. The time is now eight o'clock, so I am currently logging on to my work computer to start working. But before I start, I wanted to get on here and let you guys know how the test went. So out of all of the mock exams that I took, I took two for FAR and I took two for audit. Reg has been my lowest score. I will say that I did things a little bit differently after looking back at my previous videos on how I prepared myself for FAR and audit. For FAR and audit, after I was done with the review course, I went back and I answered about 10 to 15 multiple choice questions for each section and I wrote notes, as well as rewriting my notes from the Ninja Notes. For Rick, all I've done was rewrite my notes for Ninja and then I was just doing random multiple choice questions. And I have not put as much time in as I wanted to. So I'm not sure if I want to push my test back yet. I have five days before the test date to determine whether or not I want to reschedule my test and pay a $35 fee. If I miss that five day deadline, then I kind of forfeit all of my money. So 
I think maybe Wednesday I'll pretty much decide on what I want to do. I don't think that they have any openings the following week on that Monday. I like to take my test on Mondays. It's been a tradition, but I was actually taking it on Tuesday because I have a doctor's appointment on Monday. And I did not want to push that out, but I think the following Monday it's booked up. So I'm honestly not sure what I want to do yet. Getting a 60, I was honestly excited with getting the 60 because I didn't think that I even did that well. One, I rushed through the test because I wanted it to be done by eight o'clock. I started a little bit after, I believe, 520 and I finished about 740. I've just been going back and looking at stuff. Let me see, 60. Percent the so I got a 60% and the average for this test was 67, which I was a little below average. I so I took about two and a half hours on the test, which is kind of a norm for when I take a practice exam. I know that I'm gonna be a little more thorough when I do the actual exam. So I'm logging into work now, and after I'm done working, I'm probably going to review the practice exam to see what I need to work on. I'm really up in the air about changing my test date. I'm scared, I am I'm terrified. So I'm terrified of keeping my test date because there's a possibility that I could fail because my score is completely different from what I did the last time. So when I took FAR, my first score, my first mock exam score was a 63. I reviewed for a week and I took another mock exam and that mock exam was a 77. So I still have a week to review and there's a possibility that my score can get higher. What I might do, I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. Um, I think I will talk to Ty when he gets home to see what he thinks I should do. And I'm, I'm, I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that he's gonna tell me to push the date back. Um, I'm also gonna call my sister and see what she thinks that I should do. So she's up now, probably taking my nephew to school. So I will call her and talk to her now and then I'll talk to Ty when he gets home from work. But I have to go to work, get some work done, um, finish up my closing for the month of August. So I will review later on and I'll probably update you guys on Wednesday about what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna study, 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 study. So I'll see you then. Bye. What's up guys? Today is Saturday, September 19th and it is 8.20 p.m. So the last time that I got on here, it was Monday. Early Monday morning, I had just finished taking a mock exam and I got a 60. So this week, was supposed to be my prep week for my test on the 22nd. But after I finished filming Monday, I called my sister. We decided that it was a good idea for me to reschedule, especially with this, having a 60 for the mock exam. So I rescheduled it for a week later, which is now the 29th. I think it's, which is a Tuesday. Or is it the 30th? It's the 29th. So now the test is on the 29th and I really haven't studied this week. This entire week, like being tiredness just kind of took over my body and I didn't want to do anything. So I'm kind of glad that I did reschedule the test because I haven't even had time to go back and honestly, you know, do an intense review. I didn't do anything Monday evening. Tuesday and Wednesday, I slept in, um, which is usually the time that I do study. Wednesday evening is when I actually went over my mock exam. Um, I went through every single question that I did, wrote notes on the questions that I got wrong or the ones that I guessed on to actually get a better understanding of the topics. And since Wednesday, what I've been doing is that I've just been going through multiple choice questions galore. So Thursday, I only did 60 questions, which I believe was both in the evening. So I guess I slept, I slept in Thursday evening too. So Thursday, I only did 60 questions. And then Friday, I actually set 
for four hours. I did not sit the complete four hours, but four hours with a few breaks in between and I completed 150 multiple choice questions. I'm ranging between 50 and 60 on the multiple choice questions with Ninja. My trending score being a 63 at the moment. Today, I've done a total of 90 questions. And I'm actually probably going to do two more sets of questions. Each set is 30 questions. So I'm probably going to do two more sets and then I'm calling it a night for tonight. Tomorrow morning, which is Sunday, which is the day that this video will probably go live. Um, tomorrow morning I am going to do another mock exam. This mock exam I'm actually going to take with Ninja instead of Roger. Just to get a feel for both. I kind of know what Roger mock exams feel like. But just to get probably a different set of questions than what Roger would have given me. So I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and I'm going to do those questions all next week. It's complete review of what I really need to work on but I just wanted to hop in and give you guys an update because it's been an almost an entire week and nothing so this video is supposed to be a day by day of what I did but being that I wasn't studying um and being that I pushed my test back there was no point in doing the day by day so you guys will get a three-day update on how I am preparing for the test and maybe next week um I'll do a day by day or every other day type of thing to keep you guys updated on what I'm doing and what I'm working on so I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is Sunday, September 20th, and the time is now 9.13. I'm down here in my new space. That's going to be my office. It's a start. It's not complete, but we're getting to it. But I am down here getting ready to take my second mock exam this up so I have everything set up I have my water I have my Del Vita breakfast bars they don't allow food in the testing center but when you take your breaks you're able to actually you know access your locker to get your snacks and things of that sort but being that I'm at home and it's first thing in the morning I haven't eaten I'm going to eat while I am taking the practice exam I wanted to take it at 8 but Things happen and I didn't get out of the bed, so it is an hour later that I'm taking it. So I actually have it set up where I'm about to start the exam. I will say that one of the differences between Roger and Ninja is that you actually have to write down your launch code to access the test for Ninja, whereas in Roger you don't. In the real exam, they give you your access code before you go into the testing center. Roger doesn't do this, so I'm kind of glad that Ninja does to actually give you a little more of the real exam experience, which is a good thing. Um, but it's now 9.15 and I am rambling along. <clears throat> so I am gonna go ahead and start this test so that I can get it over with. If you want to know what my results are, Stay tuned because I will be sharing them. Bye. higher than the first mock exam which I guess is good but I felt like I did a little bit better on the multiple choice questions but both sections I scored a 68 um, the last testlet was my lowest score which was a 55 so I will go back and look at everything it didn't take me long to get through it, but the thing about Ninja is they don't have the 
for the sins they don't have all of the extra um what do you call those things all of the extra documents so you don't have to click on the multiple documents to try to figure out the question here they just pretty much lay everything out and you answer from there so it only took me two hours and 18 minutes to complete these i got through the multiple choice questions pretty fast but i am going to review these a little later i'm going to take a break i will probably try to edit and get this video posted for you guys so that you guys can see this I'm glad that I pushed my test date out because I would have not been ready on Tuesday at all. I kind of know what I need to go back and review. There's a few sections that I'm going to review with Roger in the cram course this week and hopefully that helps me out when I take my last mock exam which is probably going to be next Sunday. But that is it for this video. Stay tuned. Um, I'm going to try to put something together next week so you guys can see what I'm going to do every single day to prepare for this test next Tuesday. Honestly, not confident about this one. I'm not going to say I'm not confident about it at all. So there is some confidence in it and then there's just some where it's like, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. But I think I know what I need to review. I know what I need to work on. So... That is going to be worked on this week. The videos that I have going up next week, they're pretty simple and easy to edit. So I will get those posted for you guys as well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.